Americans, the Grand National means a sweepstakes drawing. To an Englishman, it's a social event, with Princess and Queen Mother on hand to see the royal family's entry start with 46 other steeplechasers. The race is four and a half miles, twice around the hazardous course, a race to a queen's taste. Rarely has there been more than half the field ever to complete a race, and today will be no exception. There are 30 jumps to navigate on the course. Running with the leaders is Freddie, the Scottish bred favorite. Before the race is a third over, the barriers take their toll. Most of the outsiders are eliminated on this first lap, while the good jumpers make it look easy. Rondetto, number four, has the lead at this point, but anything can happen yet. Only 14 horses are destined to finish, and here's the reason why. No horses are injured, but five riders are sent to the hospital. A miracle saves this rider from serious injury. Fence number 26 puts an end to Rondetto's bid as the leader falters for a moment and then goes down. Now the colonies are heard from as the American bred Jay Trump number five takes the barrier easily and cuts between two horses. He is ridden by an American, Tommy Smith, and left the barrier at better than 20 to one. An American bred horse hasn't won since 1938. Hugging the rail, Jay Trump has to give all he has to fight off a bid of the favored Freddy. It's one of the closest finishes in Grand National history. But Jay Trump hangs on to go across three quarters of a length in front. This is the first time an American rider has ridden an American horse to victory in the Grand National. His $60,000 purse is 30 times his purchase price a few years ago.